Hey everybody, Get Milky here, and I have another Let's Play for you here. Now this is uh, going to be part of my vintage series. Uh, these are games I played from my childhood, which I want to replay and show to you guys. Really, because I want to have another crack at them. Uh, they were awesome when I was a child. Now this is a game called Freedom Fires. Uh, it was a game released on the PS2 and PC uh, ages ago. I have no idea. More than 10 years, maybe? I'm not too sure. And it was really fun. It was really awesome. You'll hear about what the story is. It's not really sci-fi. Uh, but it's got a weird take on war in some ways. Now, I'm just checking the graphics just before uh, changing some of that a little bit before I uh, go back. Now, of course, uh, the seeing as this game is quite old, there are going to be like some problems. Like Everything I had to change graphics-wise, as you saw there, I couldn't change much. I did on a little menu thing, or a little page where I could type in what I wanted. Uh, and it wouldn't even go up to 1080p resolution, so I'm playing on 720. Um, so that's a, a minor setback, but I don't mind that really because it's such an old game. I didn't expect that. Anyway, it's not bad looking though for its time. Now I'm going to choose a difficulty level, and it's going to be uh, Freedom Fire. I've got what it takes, and I'll put my name in because I'm not going to be known as the Freedom Fire. I'll be known as Ibi Kareem because that is my name, or a shortened down version of my name. Uh, okay. Yes, we want to overwrite that. I already had a little crack at it. See how it played. It did really well. So I'm gonna shut up now and let you hear the cutscene. You can tell how old anyway, is it from this video. When I couldn't pinpoint the exact location of my humble summer cottage in the Hamptons, she dropped me right there. Cold. Damn, I looked like an idiot still holding the drinks I'd been paying for all night. Well, who cares? You know, her loss. Hey, pop the clutch. Let's get on with it. What's up with the worksheet today, bro? Hmm, let's see. Isabella Angelina, a condo in Midtown Manhattan, drain plug, and a leaky garbage disposal. Gah. Do we have to get the crappiest route every Monday morning? I wish for once we get a fancy condo on the east side with a view. Whoa. Isabella Angel whatever. She's that hot spokes babe for the warning against Reds movement? Hey, saw her on TV yesterday. No idea. Besides, I don't follow all that conspiracy crap like you do. What do you mean, conspiracy crap? Well, doesn't the Soviet invasion of South America bother you? You need a reality check, bro. Know what? Next thing you know, you'll be waking up under a Russian flag, and you won't think it's conspiracy crap then. Right. You're so in denial. Look, try listening to those warning against Reds guys. What? Speaking of which, how about this first stop? Really like to check out the plumbing on that Isabella chick. Hello? Plumbers on patrol. Anybody home? Yeah. Whew. No wonder. Sister Sludge sure needs a trained surgeon here. There is one here. Freeze! Don't move. Remain calm, citizen. Whoa, hey, stay cool, man. I'm just the plumber. Where is your girlfriend, citizen? Girlfriend? <laughs> She's not me. I will ask again. Where is Isabella Angelina? Hmm? What, her? Look, I think... I mean, she's... Look, she's not... Well, Isabella cannot be far from here. Bomb the place to pieces! I want to see a lawyer, buddy. Okay, so here we are. This is what the game looks like to begin with. We've got our wrench. Uh, we're gonna run around and do things. Holy shit. Ow, I'm being hit already. Um, so let's get out here. A little soldier. And now you're dead. I wonder where they took my brother. It is fortunate that you found me. Quickly, this way. Okay, man, let's roll. I do remember this game a little bit. Um, it's seriously fun to play. I really do enjoy it. Perfect. He won't trouble us anymore. That guy's got a good shot. So let's see where he's going. Uh, I've now got a pistol. It's pretty good Hurry. on aiming. See, this game may be really old, but the dynamics of it More and the soldiers. gameplay of it are really Shoot fucking good. Them. I had a really terrible shot there. Me, no, my brother! So my name's Chris. I'm the plumber. I'm like in a... And uh, my brother just got taken, and he's going off in a little helicopter. We'll see if we can find him later on. I cannot remember the game for the life of me. 
I do not want soldiers down there. We are not as well supplied. Yeah, I do not know what happens in the storyline so of it. Improvise. Aim at the fuel barrels rather than the soldiers. They're wanting me to kill the soldiers by shooting them. <laughs> Ragdoll effects in this are pretty fucking awesome. Yeah, there are, there are the soldiers. Oh. Shit. I lost a lot of my health. You're wounded. Take that medical kit behind the ambulance. There we go. Good. You are ready for battle. Three groups got ahead. Sweep that. We're not out of the woods yet. It's us or them. Okay, right. So let's go on across. Oh, there's a building falling down over here. For a vintage game, it's fucking awesome. And if you guys want to play it, uh, this game is cheap as chips. You'll find it for like a pound, two pounds maybe online. Uh, and uh, not even that. You, you can play it on a laptop that's like five years old. Trust me, it's I like it. wounded. You, have a you can play it on a five-year-old laptop that has Yo, terrible that uh, graphics on the motherboard chip. Any stats? laptop will be able to handle okay, it. Uh, as long as you don't have like a, a laptop that's got 1080p resolution, because you won't be able to play it on 1080p. That's the only problem. So you'll have to live for. So you'll have to live for 720. But it's not that big a deal. Prevail air Dinvin. Dinvin. We must leave now. I don't know. I'm I'm leaving. Come on, you... Tom, let's show the Reds. Yeah. Throw those I'd... babies. This would be another freedom fire. Oh, I just set you on fire. Oh, yeah, baby. Steve right and he's out. And he's out. He's now Canadian. Ah, for the fucking love of God, stop moving, you fools. I'm terrible at this throwing business. I am horrible. And I keep forgetting. That worked too. Okay, let's get to the sewers. Um, yeah. Manhole. Open this manhole with your wrench. We can escape to safety below in the Okay, sewer. and that's us done. The prologue to this game. It was a really short prologue. And, uh... I'll shut up now and let you watch this cutscene. Citizens of New York and comrades from the Soviet Armed Forces, welcome to our first news broadcast after today's events. My name is Tatiana Kempinski, and I will be your regular news anchor from now on. We hope in time to obtain the cooperation of most of your familiar TV personalities once they return from a re-education program at our training facilities in Alaska. Meanwhile, I will make sure you get all necessary information about our efforts to restore peace and stability in your troubled country. Our Soviet leaders have been concerned for years by the plight of the poor American people suffering under a corrupt regime. Today we have finally succeeded in liberating the suppressed masses of Americans from further hardship, and we will soon restore law and order in a new rule of government. And we expect and believe that every citizen will swear allegiance to this new order. Cooperate and you will reap all the benefits of the Soviet system. All measure of resistance will be futile and dealt with swiftly. Our great leader, Comrade General Tatarin, will be addressing the nation later. So on behalf of the dedicated staff here at the studio and the glorious Soviet armed forces, welcome New York to a better future. Okay, so pretty much Russia has taken over the USA and uh, for some reason the US government did absolutely nothing about it. The army did fuck it all, fuck all about it. And uh, now it is up to the Scrag, Scrag, I don't know, that's not even a word, the Ragtag, uh, USA, citizens, I don't know what I'm saying, to kind of put up a for force, a fight against them, some sort of resistance. Uh, and so now we've started, started that really, and we begin our journey in the sewers, which is our headquarters actually from now on, which is pretty weird. <coughs> the rebel base. So this is the rebel base. And we can jump, so we can jump. We can't jump over things at the moment. We have a uh, rebel base stuff. And we have some cash, I think, there, or something like that. I don't know what it was. This is our base. Secure the police state. Oh, I missed a whole dialogue. Dialogue? Dialogue. 
Um, so really, this is how we start off our missions, and this is the character Chris. Looks like a fucking badass. Let's go and um, let us go over to the table and take a look at the map. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Secure the police station and liberate our leader Isabella. Raise your flag to signal a release. The police officers will assist you, but they need your help taking out the snipers on the nearby gas station. So let's go here first. I do remember this bit, actually. Uh, we're going to have to go and help the police officers quickly. Uh, so now so now that we've gone over the military, the beginning of the game and what's really going on and stuff like that, now we can get into the net greatness. So we can go up to him and talk to him. We're pinned down here. See, what? I don't know what's going on with the competition there, because he, uh, competition? Conversation, because he just, he didn't tell me anything. What he's supposed to say, uh, is that I have to go back over to the f gas station and blow it up. I'm just looking at the shadow of my character here, and as you look carefully, there's no shadow of the gun. It's really weird. So let's go to another location. Post office. Post office is a Soviet stronghold. It is used as a supply depot to support troops advancing in. The yep. We don't need to hear that right now. Uh, so let's go across. Yo, man, I gotta talk to you. Check that. You found some C4. All you gotta do now is blow the gas station. Yes, I do. Blowing the gas station will be easy with my C4. The game's not really complicated or hard. It's such an easy game, but it's fucking fun. Um, you have to really work with your aiming, because you will never aim straight, mainly because you have no training, I suppose. But the fundamentals of the game work fair enough. Headshot uh, is a one-shot kill, stuff like that. And the more sewers we open, the better, because it means we can just come and pop out, like pop open from any other place directly here. Manholes are fucking huge. Uh, let's just go back. So we've got to take out these snipers here. Um, just pop some C4 around here. And then we'll get this done. So what I'll do is I'll finish the first uh, section, the first mission, really, and then I'll end this part. Uh, not much goes on really, just the beginning sort of stages, teaches you a little bit, you get a real feel for the game before you get to command any troops. Uh, as a freedom fighter, you're not fighting alone, you do get to command a squad of men that goes up to about 10, and it's glorious because you can tell them what to do and position them, so it's a really weird strategic shooter game. And that's what made it really fun and good to play, the storyline was also really good, uh, you, you wouldn't really see this kind of thing back in that kind of time. Uh, for something quite normal and standard like this as uh, it's not fantasy or anything like that. So let's go to uh, the police station and finish that off. The post oh, no, I don't, office want, is don't want the post office. Secure the police station and liberate our leader, Isabella. Yep, so let's go back. So our leader is called Isabella, and I'm on my way to find her now, so let's go back and do that quickly. Uh, the game doesn't look that bad graphics-wise. Every time I have... Oh, look, there's actually a... Uh, there is a shadow for my weapon now. Maybe just not the pistol. Yeah, not the pistol. That's interesting. Thanks, friend. Nice to get rid of the snipers. Listen, if you're going to infiltrate the police station, I recommend you use the subway tunnel. I will use the subway tunnel. Thank you. For fuck's sake, he didn't die. And I'm out of weaponry already. Alright, okay, so let's fight our way through this. There's no cover system either. Be good if there was. Try and get as much ammunition as I am, because I'm seeing as I'm playing on a higher level, resources will be less. Um, so let's keep going through this. We've got some more med kits. When I played this as a child, I was actually not bad at it. And that was me. I don't know how old I was when I played this. I had a PS2 though, so I was uh, more than 10 years old. Maybe 11? No. Wait, it would have to be. Yeah, it would be around 9, 10, 11. Close to that age. I'm thinking. I'm not too sure. Oh, shit. I completely forgot I was supposed to crouch here because the uh, Soviet guys can see me. 
Okay, let's go. Yeah, see, I was supposed to go in like and be all sneaky and stuff like that. You can also blow up cars, as I just saw there. And now we have our assault rifle out again. And I need some health as well. There you go. Ah, what the hell? There's more of them. Boom. That guy didn't stand a chance. I wish there was a sprint button as well, but then again, I suppose the game would be over way too fast if there was. Um, but See, that things they could improve. They should have made a Freedom Fires 2. If they could make a Freedom Fires 2 for something like the Xbox 360 PC, uh, something like that, that would be fucking awesome. I'd play it. So really, let's get some coverage here. I keep thinking C is to crouch when it's not. And there's a shotgun here. But I don't need a shotgun. And also, there's no, like, cover system as well, really, for getting up. So I have to keep moving if I want to be up, stuff like that. Which is fine. Right, so let's keep going through this. Uh, ooh. There's no, there's no music either, and that's really quite weird. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, let's keep going. Yep, he's dead. Okay, right, let's go up the stairs and to the back. Where we're, this is the police station. It doesn't really look like a police station to me. I haven't seen any cells, but you can see all the offices. Yes, he's dead. They're dead, and I need to really heal. You do get a lot of more weapons and stuff as well, and you get more weapon slots. Come out, come out. I don't even have to reload either, I just realized that. Oh, he's, hi he's, he's hiding. Oh. Guy's sneaky. He probably went all the way down and back up. The music's really quiet now. It's destroying the ambiance of the game. And I don't know why, but every time I aim aims upwards sometimes. And these guys are a lot harder to kill than I'm expecting them to be. I would expect, like, if I hit them in the head once, they would just die. There you go. Over here. Ah. Ow. Uh, oh, there's our leader there. Thanks. Don't forget the flag. Can I not pick that up? Yeah, I can. Right, let's go get the flag. And wait a minute. Now, We're not going anywhere before our own colors are flying from the flagpole. I'm gonna kill this guy down here before I do. So this is how you kind of liberate the places you have to capture the flags and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. And uh, there we go. That's pretty much the first mission completed. So I will return to the rebel base, and that's where I'll see you guys next time. So if you give me a second, let it load. Right, guys. So this has been the first part. Excuse me. I know that's really weird. Uh, it's a really old game, and you may complain, "Oh, it's crap and that." Just give it a chance. Give it a couple of views. You know, have a little go, try and find it online if you want to play it. It's an awesome game. Uh, I wouldn't be playing it now if I didn't think it was good. Uh, but anyway, well, remember to like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to bring you a lot more of this stuff. I've got Dead Space 3, I've got Chivalry, I've got Lord of the Rings, Gondor, and Custom Battles. I've got a whole load of range of games that are coming out for you guys. So if you just keep watching it and stuff, you'll find something that you find entertaining. Anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed this video.